All right, it works. So uh, no board modifications. That's great. A Rev A board that works perfect uh, and a design that works. So yeah, that's a big, big win. Um, I think I'm gonna end the video series here. Each character is individually addressable. So this is, um, the first two characters are one byte and then one byte and then one byte at different addresses. So you write to an address for these two and write to a different address for these two and a different address for those two. And then the uh, lower nibble is, uh, is the first character and the higher nibble is the, uh, is the second character as it, as it goes across like that. And so, yeah, anything you want with this thing. Very, very cool. So a modification I would make if I was going to go further with this project is to get a larger power supply. Uh, this one is not outputting the full 170 uh, volts at this particular current level. I'm driving all of the uh, Nixies at the same time. And I'm getting about 155 volts out instead of 170. And uh, there is an adjustment on the board, but it's just current limited now. It's just at the very bottom of what it can do. Uh, so, over at the top of what I can do, I guess. Anyway, so I would get a, a different board. Uh, I could try that other board that I got. Maybe it has a higher current level, but I would want to, I would want to look into that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, otherwise it's cool. Um, the, uh, character spacing turned out pretty good. I like that. Uh, I don't think I can get them, I, I could get them a little bit closer together, but I think it looks fine this way. Um... There's some trickiness in laying out a board like this because it's 170 volts, so you have to pay attention to high voltage paths and stuff uh, on this part of the board down down here. Um, it did all work out with a surface mount. I am using 0805 parts and nothing is arcing. Uh, 170 volts isn't that terribly high, but um, so that worked out really good. I'm using Arduino Nano, but you could use any Arduino you want. The board is I squared C, so anything that's I squared C uh, can go into here. It's a five volt board, um, and uh, it is a bit power hungry. So right now, right now I'm drawing about half an amp. Uh, yeah, right about half an amp at five volts. So. It is a bit greedy. That's why you don't see Nixies anymore. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put this up on the uh, up on the share site and uh, put all the design files and stuff there if you want to run with this thing. Um, I doubt that anybody's gonna 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 go with this project, but I just want to document it in case anybody can use some ideas that I used in another project. They can steal bits and pieces of it and maybe not maybe not the entire design. So that'd be good. Um, so I wanted to give a big sh thanks out to my viewer who sent this over. Uh, thanks, Dino. Uh, it gave me the um, uh, fortitude to actually do a real project. I haven't done my own project for quite a while. I've been doing other things, and so it was nice to do my own project. Interestingly enough, this project has been on the, my back, back of my mind for about five years, doing, a, doing an I squared C Nixie display. So just, just by dumb happenstance, uh, you gave me all of the parts that I needed to uh, complete this thing as far as the drive, uh, the, uh, drive uh, ICs and the Nixies. And then the I squared C to parallel conversion chips, by dumb luck, I was at Anchor Electronics and they had one of those grab bags. And I got a grab bag with a bunch of parts, uh, not knowing I would ever use those things. So yeah, so everything's been free. <laughs> I, had, I did have to buy the power supply, but everything else I got for free. And the power supply was about a buck. So uh, yeah, there you go. All right, on to my next project. This has been my I squared C Nixie project.